Hey YouTube! This is Super Zemis and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3! Alright, last time, Elia got hit with one of the cursed arrows that Kraken shot at her, and now he's after us in the Crystal of Water, but I don't think so! Alright, fight Kraken! This guy is actually pretty tough, and it's gonna be a little tougher being that I used the uh, high potions on Salamander. I mainly did that for strategy back then. Here, it mainly be if I use the high potions, it mainly be if I screwed up the strategy, so they're not as necessary as it was in Salamander's boss battle. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started here. I actually keep the Ice Blade on him, because, well, the Serpent Sword, even though he's supposed to be weak to Thunder, at least I think so, he's supposed to be weak to it, it doesn't really show that much signs of being weak to it. Maybe he deals like one or two extra damage, so I'm actually just going to keep the Ice Blade on. And I'm going to cast Ice 3, because it actually deals more damage than Bolt 2, even though he should be weak to Bolt. So I'm just going to cast Ice 3 there. And I'm going to actually hold off on Refia for a little bit. And then, uh, Ingus, why don't you just attack there? Nice hit! Alright, that's what you're looking for. Try to get 200 damage with each shot with uh, Ingus and Lunith. Unfortunately, Lunith didn't do too good. Here's what I'm worried about. Level 2 Ice, or Fire, and Elemental Magic. Yeah, it deals a lot of damage. If that happens... Now, it takes a little bit of luck to be Kraken. So hopefully he won't attack Refia two times in a row. If he does, well, then this is going to be a little bad. Either... Refia gets her thing off first, like she did, or I'm able to get it off before, well, get it off before Kraken, or Kraken attacks someone else, but that's basically what you want. So yeah, let's just keep going with Ice 3 there, and you'll have to use Cure 2 again on yourself, Refia. <laughs> now, um, you should be able to defeat Kraken before you use up all your, um, Cure 2 spell charges, so... Don't worry there, if, you, uh, if you're um, running low on spell charges, well, don't worry about it, so. I might get a good Ice 3 going, or, and, and yeah, this Ice 3 deals a lot of damage. I love Ice 3 against him. Now, hopefully I can get um, Arc healed up first, or um, you attack someone else, that, or beat him. That works too. Either three of those options worked, I just got the, I kill him first, and I think I like that option the most, but, alright, we got him. It takes a little bit of luck to get what you want out of that strategy, but, uh, it's not too much luck, so, usually he goes after different people each hit, so, you don't have to worry about that too much, but, alright, we got him. That wasn't too bad. I think the salamander was harder. Elia, no, will you live? No, no she's not gonna live. Don't speak, why not? I mean, we want to know this stuff, guys. You gotta know this stuff if you want to save the world. Anyway, instead of the water crystal giving us the jobs, Elia get, uh, gives it to us, uh, gives us, gives it to us for it. I don't even know what I just said there. Alright, thanks. Now I have new job classes. Alright, we'll save the world for you. Lufia! I, I mean, Elia! <coughs> well, looks like Elia's dead. You know, I would feel a little more emotional with the music. The music is great here, and I, I think that throws off the mood, but, or not throws off, it throws it off, but it gives the mood, it gets the mood going, but uh, I just don't really connect with Elia too much, so that's why I don't really feel too emotional for it. If, if we had more character development out of the characters and Elia, which we, this game, we, there is minimal, minimal, uh, character development, if that. So, honestly, if there was more plot oriented, I'd probably feel for it, but, oh well, it looks like we're gonna die. That's it. We're dead. Game over. That's it. But for re resurrect, or, I don't know, saving the water crystal? The world becomes the new! Yeah, the world was below the sea, as that guy said, remember? So, yeah, alright! Wait, where are we? Are we in that town? I guess we're in that town. How'd we get here? What? How? How was I... 
That's your excuse for everything. You've been asleep for months. You've been asleep for weeks. What? No, that's not an excuse any- Uh, okay, maybe it is. But anyway. Huh. Interesting. But how- So, who's- Who's the grandpa who saved us? Well, before I go talk to people, let's go over a jo more job classes. Alright, got lots of new job classes for the water crystal. Let's see here. We get... <coughs> let's go over them. Geomancer. The Geomancer is basically the Mog of the game. Um, you know Mog from Final Fantasy VI, the Moogle? It's basically that. So, you use the terrain to your advantage, you use terrain in battle, and that damages the enemy. Honestly, I never use it. Then we have the Dragoon. No oh, viewers, out of out of the entire series, the Dragoon is the Dragoon out of the entire series is definitely my favorite job class. I mean, it's not that abusive in this game, and I might not have him. Well, okay, yeah, I will turn um, Ingus into one eventually, so I will have a Dragoon. But um, for now. Uh, basically what it does is, um, if you haven't played other Final Fantasies, if this is the first Final Fantasy you're playing, I don't know how it is because it was never released in America. I digress, let's go back to Dragoon here, getting a little off topic. Anyway, the Dragoon, basically, if you jump in the air, and you, uh, you just take a turn to jump in the air, and then the next turn you come down and deal extra damage to an enemy. Works really good against flying enemies. Uh, but anyway, I'll eventually turn um, Ingus into one, but unfortunately, we don't have that great of equipment for it yet. Then we have the Viking. It's basically your tank of the game. Um, it's really good on uh, defense, and uh, if you want to tank damage, well, I suggest using it. However, the weapons the Vikings use is axes, and oh, the accuracy on it is terrible. So I'm actually not going to use the Vikings for that reason. Honestly, I prefer Axe more in uh, Final Fantasy 2 than this game. But anyway, we get the Karateka here. I'll just make an analogy to make it easy for you guys to understand the Karateka. Um, Knight is to Fighter, as Karateka is to Monk. So yeah, it's basically an up a complete upgrade to the Monk there. So, all turning gets into that, well, today. Then we have the Mystic Knight. That it will be... It's an odd job class. Um, I guess it, it's an attack uh, offensive one. It uses uh, katan, well, katanas like the Masamune or such like that. Katanas like that. He uses that. and uh, Or Dark Blades, I guess you would call them. And uh, so it's basically an offense, ex uh, offensive um, melee um, job class. Just they have um, the uh, Dark Blades. Which, I'll go over how Dark Blades work later, much later. We're not going to be using the Mystic Knight for a long time, but we will use it in a dungeon. We are going to need it. So, I'll go over the Mystic Knight in depth more later than now. I'll just tell you, it's just an, a melee unit for now. Later, I'll explain. Then we have the Conjurer. Basically, that is um, basically almost like a, a mini summoner. It, uh, well, it summons, uh, you know, your average summons. Shiva, Ifrit, Chocobo, you know, summons that. Um, I think it can use a little bit of white magic and black magic, but I never use it because, honestly, the Conjurer isn't that great. I don't really care for summoning, viewers, what can I say? But here we have the Bard. Now, this one, um, basically, it's like a... It's almost like a... It uses, um, harps as their, um, attack- it uses harps as their attack pa uh, attacking. Um, that's really all I can give you, because I never use bards. I guess they have a sing ability, I think, that can, uh, you know, do different stuff for your party, protect, uh, heal, I don't know, but, uh, honestly, I never use the bard, because they're pretty useless, in my opinion. But, that's pretty much all I want to go over. So, now, you know what? Ingus, why don't we uh, remove your equipment there, and I'm actually going to go for Ingus, and I'm going to turn him into a Karateka right now. Alright, yeah, much better for um, attack power. We'll, we'll see the greatness that we can get from the Karateka. I also want to keep him in the front row, by the way. But anyway, now with that over, well, let's, uh, you know, well, let's uh, talk to people now. I guess I can go with a longer video today. 
I want to explore the entire town before the end of the day, so... You're welcome. I guess they already said that, but anyway. Really? Well, I wonder why it's that. Let me think. Goldor? What? That means I can't get my ship? Oh, we're gonna have a big talk with that guy. Oh. What? Oh, so yeah, remember? Well, I, I don't know which NPC it was, but one NPC earlier in the game was talking about how, um, I think it was in the ancient village about, uh, a thousand years ago there was a flood of light. Well, now there's a flood of darkness in this game, so yeah, back a thousand years ago, the dark crit- uh, you got the dark warriors who, uh, were helping to avoid the flood of light. Too much of a good thing, viewers. That's what it is. Oh, no. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get after Goldor, and he has a crystal? Huh. Made of gold. Huh. We're gonna have- we're gonna really talk about this Goldor guy, huh? Oh, the bottomless swamp, huh? Oh, well. Gotta do how do we get past it? Floating shoes, alright. Delilah? Oh, I have to go to the sewers, I've been to smell like poo for weeks. Yep, the next area we're going to is the sewers of a myrrh. Oh, well, better not use magic against him. But in this piano, unlike every other piano in the game, let's check it out. We get a little extra dance here. Um... The point of this? Not really, but, uh, you know, I find this amusing a little, actually. Seriously, all the people here got in line just to do some sort of dance to this song. What? What is this? What is this ludic- This is ludicrous! I don't understand this, viewers. Honestly, I don't. But I find it amusing that they do this. And then after you're finished, then they all go back to their seats. By sidestepping. And the guy went through the... The... The, the uh, table there, huh? Well, that was strange. Well, they liked us playing the piano, so let's get on out of here. No more of that. <coughs> anyway, now we want to... See, is there anything... Yes, I want to buy a few things. Um, well, let me talk to more people. Oh, that's the guy from the ship, huh? Alright. We'll do that. We'll do! What? Well... Are you sure he has one? Well, apparently that means if we've already had the fire crystal, the water crystal, and the wind crystal, that must mean Goldor has the, uh, the earth crystal, right? Well, I assume so. Huh. Well, that's us. Not these guys. Who are these guys? I. What, are these guys from Wolfenstein 3D? Nah, nah. What was that? Ha! <laughs> oh, those guys are idiots. Those old coots. Anyway, I guess I'll talk to some more people then. Well, now what? Oh, no. No, no, not again. Get out of here. Freaking old men. What's the point of that? No, I don't want to go through that again. Old Jiro. Well, Old Jiro, we'll have to talk to him then. And he lives... Oh, alright, I've kind of already been there, but he lives right in here. Hey, Jiro. What do you want? I don't even know what I'm referencing. Floating shoes. I like in the DS version, they call them the Levygrass shoes. I like that name better. Oh, well, I don't care because... Yeah, we're the real legendary heroes, not the ridiculous guys you that are right next to the wall listening into- WHAT ARE YOU GUYS DOING?! WHAT'S WRONG WITH YOU GUYS?! Um... Uh... You guys are idiots. So, what about that, uh, unlocking that sewers then? Seriously, we have to deal with this. Do we really have to deal with this? Going in the sewers? Uh... 
and all those kooky old men there, and it just... This is ridiculous! Ludicrous! Wow, I've used that word a lot in this episode. Maybe I have space balls on the mind. Alright. But now, if you came here earlier, the, um, you couldn't just, you'd just stand right here and it said locked, but yeah, you can walk right through it now. So, with that, before I head off now, I actually want to go and buy a few things. Let's go to the weapon shop, and I want to buy, um, two Kaiser Knuckles, or, I, Kaiser Claws, sorry. I bought and buy two Kaiser Claws, and I want to equip those on Ingus. Now, the claws, unlike, uh, Nunchucks, the claws here, they, um, actually help your attack power, unlike the Nunchucks, which were, um, <coughs> um, what was it, um, oh, what's the word, um, I guess straining you back, restraining you, restraining your attack power. And then, at the, uh, armor shop, though, I want to buy a Chakra Helm. And a black belt, which I also want to equip on the Karateka. Or Ingus. So let's equip that on him. Chakra. Yeah! Strength and... With that, you get your strength and vitality boosted. And for the black belt, you get your agility boosted. I love this! Love it! <coughs> so with that, that's everything I wanted to buy. And I equipped everything. So let's just look for some treasure around Amur. And then we'll head on to the sewers. Yeah, if we go up here, talk to all these carrots here. Unlike Pajama Sam, where they don't come alive. Nah, no one's gonna get that reference. Anyone ever played um, Humongous Entertainment games when they were like three years old? Because I did. I remember playing Pajama Sam and Putt Putt and whatever else. Or Freddy Fish, you know? Anyway, we get some dark equipment and... Or the Thief's Gloves, that'll be equipped on the Thief, obviously. And then the dark equipment, uh... I honestly don't know who can equip that, so I can't really say anything right now. So with that, that's everything. So if we go in here, we make it into the sewers of a mer. Can we make it through and get the bottom, uh, get the uh, floating shoes and cross the bottomless pit in, or the bottomless swamp in Goldor's before Goldor's Manor? I'm screwing up the, I'm screwing up the frickin' cliffhanger today, viewers. Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 3! Alright, I think that's it for the screwed up uh, cliffhanger. Sorry viewers, but this is the Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one!